AM Quad Cities at News Talk 1420 WOC with Dan and Dan. It's 817 this weekend at the iWireless Center. The Quad City Mallards taking on the Rapid City Rush. Coach Terry Ruskowski, fourth year coach, general manager of the Mallards, joining us this morning. How are you, Coach? Good, good. Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, you got to love this weather, right? I mean, uh, no snow. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Does that help or hurt, or does myself. it does it matter for you? The, it mean, doesn't matter. The, the no snow and the better weather, people have no excuses for not coming out. Right. Usually if it snows about an inch, you're like, oh, I can't go because it's no, well, there's no snow. And it's kind of cool weather, so it's, it actually is pretty good hockey weather. How's the attendance this year? Yeah, good. Weekdays, yeah. Um, uh, okay. Weekends, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. We're, we're, we're doing well. Obviously better. We like to do better, but... We have a lot of really loyal loyal fans. Well, that's what I was going to say. It seems like there's a the, the crowds you you you've developed that base. You know, you've got yeah. the folks that that really like the Mallards and care about the Mallards. Yeah, well, you, we listen to their complaints if they have any. We listen to their advice if they do any have any advice that we think it could help us. And I and Bob McNamara does a really good job of communicating with the fans and you know the Booster Club people mm-hmm. and and getting their points of view and and understanding what they want and don't want and try to fix it up as best we can. Do you well, listen don't to they their mostly advice? their wins? Then one yeah. more wins. Is that what? <laughs> uh, do you listen to their advice on line changes and things like that? Is that how, like, how far does this go? Uh, no. Line two, no. and you look, look up in the crowd. Line two, line, everybody. Line two, and then but, thumbs up. Yeah, All right, yeah, go ahead. Right. Line two. But by that time, the guys are already out there <laughs> doing something else. It happens oh. a little bit quicker than that, boys. But yeah. I was going to say, I've been to a couple of games, and I thought the crowds were. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of nice because I remember going a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago, and you go there on a on a weekday, and you could really talk to yeah. the guy across yeah. there. Hey, Bob, and you know, I mean, right across the ice. It's not like that anymore. It's nice. Well, in the weekdays is still not as much as we wanted to, but we try to change the dates so the time. It's a little bit earlier, so the guys instead of uh, uh, seven o'clock games, six thirty games, so people downtown maybe just grab some right. lunch, come and watch the game, and uh, when you, you know, we try to change it up to see how it looked. We took some advice from people, and we're just checking it out and see how it works. We may change it for next year, but if it works, it, we're going to keep it. Well, the, you know, the thing I like is that the, not only are the the crowds there, but as I kind of mentioned. They're into the hockey game. It's not just like a social. I know at right. times it used to be, oh, social event. You go and nobody be paying attention yeah. to the hockey. Yeah, they they're really knowledgeable here, and that's what scares me because because uh, <laughs> if I make a bad play or make a bad change or whatever, they know exactly who to blame, and that's me. But it's uh, part of the job. Is part of the duty. I, I know going to Laredo um, when I was there, they didn't know anything about hockey, but they came anyways. It was kind of the place to be seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they would, they'd be. I'd look up in the stands. They'd be talking to each other and all that. They didn't understand the game very well, and but they came, and that's the important part. But here, they they know the game really well. They know the game really well, so it's hard to pull anything over them. Yeah, it's got um, twenty what twenty four wins right now. Is that what you guys are sitting at? Uh, you know what? I, I think something twenty four. Yeah, yeah. twenty four and twenty three or something, and mm-hmm. eight or six or something. I don't know. You guys, uh, have you had the team uh, pretty much cherry-picked yet? I mean, because I know that always becomes the problem. Uh, well, we had our ups and downs, guys getting called. At one time, we, we had a really bad schedule, uh, not schedule, but a situation where we had uh, six six guys hurt, uh, one guy got called up, and we were struggling to find players just to come and play and make enough for a roster. And that and we struggled that time. We won a couple. We won one or two, lose you know three or four, and mm-hmm. win one, lose three, and, and we had a rough time. And, and then after that, we had like twenty four players. We had too many guys, right. and then bam, we're right down to where we didn't have enough anymore. It's just it's a roller coaster. You just every day you come to the rink, you go, okay, who's hurt, who's sick, and you just kind of expect the worst, and hopefully the best comes out. Well, how do you might call Dybert. Uh, you know, I know he's 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 a skater. He could probably come in in an emergency situation. I played, he's a figure skater, though. I played, uh, yeah, a toe pick. <laughs> no, I look, I I played a little intramural hockey back in the really? day. I, yeah. I would not. Uh, I can't skate backwards very well. That, well, and that became a problem. So defense I mean, is right out. Yeah, right. so, so, so he's out. probably more of a forward. I would probably I put him in goal. I think I, I think I would do pretty well in goal. I think that's where I should stay. Oh. I do a lot, uh, you know. Oh, that kind of sounds like a challenge. I'd, yeah. I'd almost pay to see some people fire a few shots at Dan. I'm pretty sure I could stop most of them. There you go. Uh-huh. Most of them. Um, well, he's I, I take up himself. I know he he take up so much of the well, net. Well, you know, that helps. He was a bat boy for eight years, so <laughs> that helps. Well, you know, I, I wore a uniform. I know what that's about, and things like that. So yeah, yeah that does help. I mean, Dan's. And it's trying to poo-poo my bat boy experience over there, but uh, yeah, that helps. Uh, let's talk. It's an important <laughs> job, bat boy. Uh, let's. 
All right, y'all stop it. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about this uh, the weekend games because we got uh, there uh, tonight seven oh five taking on the Rapid City Rush and it's dollar beer dollar dog night. It, it's a very important weekend for us. There's just every game is so important for us because now we're we're trying to climb the ladder to the playoff spot, and uh, every game is so so important. But the Rush are playing really good hockey now. They uh, Joe Ferris was the coach and general manager and he decided to step down as a coach and. Um, uh, DeSantis now is the coach, their assistant, associate coach now is the head coach, and they've been playing much better. Uh, I think they won three games and lost one or overtime loss or something. So they're playing much, much better, and we have to be aware of that, and we have to step up our game because every game is so important. Like Every shift of every period of every game right now is very important to us, and we've got to either tie or win them. You know, it's got to be kind of difficult to coach in a situation where, like you were saying earlier, you got now we have we don't have enough people. Now we have too many people. We have new people. I mean, what do you tell the guys? How do you coach that? I mean, the guys who are you know the core that has made up the team all year long when they're watching pieces fall off and get added around them. Well, you, you try to you you try to as much as possible talk them into being. You're the key guys. You're you're a main guys. You got to keep on going, and we depend on you. And we got to encourage them as much as possible, knowing that they're the mainstay of the team. The tough part is when you're bringing guys in, they don't know the systems. Yeah. And when one guy doesn't know the system, the whole system breaks down. The other two guys have to cover for him, and it makes for kind of sloppy hockey. Uh, what I like to have is a main core of three lines and one guy extra knows the system, and then do the system, play the system all the time. And when we do play the system all the time, I mean, we play hard, we're successful. But when they want to play that street hockey game and just go all over the place and follow the puck, right. we're not successful. So. It's once they know it and play it, it it, it really kind of works out real well for us. Is it important for the goalie to know the system? Because I don't know the system, and <laughs> I, so I may have to withdraw my name. You know, I had a Russian goalie way back coaching, and uh, he comes to me. He says, "Coach, what do you want me to do?" And I said, "Sergey, when puck comes to you, stop. No, come over the line. You stop everything. <laughs> Put puck to side. You stop puck everything." He goes, oh, coach. <laughs> <laughs> you asked, I tell you. It's pretty simple. And Saturday oh. night, I'm, I'm guessing there's going to be a big crowd there on Saturday night. Usually I'm, John Deere um, community. Yeah, I'm hoping is. both yeah. nights they're there, their crowd, because uh, the, the louder they cheer, the better we play. Yep, and I know you can get a couple of, um, uh, I know tickets are like five bucks on Saturday night. That's through yeah. John Deere. So always a big crowd there. And also uh, the Ice Princesses are going to be out there after the game on uh, Saturday night taking pictures with the kids. Oh, they are. Trust me. I have the notes. Oh, okay. Coach is looking at me like, I, now, like now when you say Ice Princesses, like what are you, like are you talking about my oh, players? Oh, I, I was going to say, what do you do? You make the players dress up in tutus and then get them out there? If I'm, you go back and tell them I'm calling them Ice Princesses, I really can't be yeah, your goalie. I mean, no, I can't be around No, they guys. certainly won't like you at all. No. Yeah. No, it's, it's, like, it's like Frozen night. So, like, you know, like, oh, think of, okay, think of the right. princess from, okay. like, Frozen and okay. stuff. They're going to be out there taking pictures I'll with them. Got one. it. Right. Okay. All right. Well, I trust you, Dan. Seven oh five tonight. Seven oh five tomorrow night. You can get the uh, tickets through the iWireless Center box office. You can call Ticketmaster or go to myqcmallards.net. Coach Riskowski, always a pleasure. Thanks for stopping by and good luck. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thanks, Love coach. listening to you. It is eight twenty five with Dan and Dan at AM Quad Cities. <laughs> <laughs>